Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday, I hope you're doing well. So today we're working on another apartment. We are back in San Myshuna for today. Um, I did like building yesterday in Evergreen Harbour, but San Myshuna has just got my heart. So we're back here today. Um, so we are working in at 1312 21 Chick Street for today. That is a mouthful. Um, and we are building for a single father and three children. So he does have twin children boys and he has an infant little girl um i don't really know what i kind of had in mind for his backstory i don't know whether you know it'd be his partner and him just separated and she lives out of the city and he has the kids most of the time they live with him and they also go to their mums um that was kind of the vibe i think um possibly after their youngest was born maybe they separated um I don't know, that was sort of what I was thinking. Anyway, so <laughs> he does live here with his three gorgeous children, twin boys and a little infant girl. And we have quite a decent apartment, to be honest. It's not too big, it's not too small. I think it's kind of like a good size for this sort of family dynamic. Um, I really like the layout of this particular apartment. The only problem we have is that we don't have a dining area. <laughs> that's usually what I don't include. Um, I do end up putting an island in the middle, which yes, okay, that's probably the only thing in this apartment which, which isn't fun functional but it just looked really bare without it so I did put an island there um I did sort of intertwine the cabinets together because otherwise you couldn't open the fridge or the oven so it's a little bit non-functional in the kitchen area but you can still access everything it just you can't actually sit at the island um which is kind of annoying but I just thought visually it looked a bit weird without one so there we are um so we're just adding in some decor to the lounge i wanted to make sure it felt very lived in i didn't want to make it too over cramped with stuff though because it's quite a small apartment like i said so i didn't want to like make it messy necessarily i just wanted it to feel very lived in so i think it turned out well um i think we've got a good combination of toys of like all ages um different interests it kind of like all flows well together so i don't know but i hope you guys like it um i feel like whenever i use this sofa the builds just turn out the best it's like my magical sofa so i don't know why it'll probably turn out well it turned out okay i don't dislike it um i really like using blue in the game i think it's a very like generic color to use in sims though so i tend to try and sway away from it but it just it always draws me back um i just really like using blue in the game i think the combination of like the wood tones with blue just kind of works really well in game i also apologize for the tiny little pauses in here usually i build like like fully through without stopping um but i was in the middle of um messaging somebody so there was like tiny little pauses but it really bothers me but i couldn't not reply to them so it's fine just apologies if it bothers you um so now we're just moving on to adding in at the details on the fridge now like i said in yesterday's apartment if you guys did see it if you haven't go and check it out um but i do pull the fridge away from the wall because i like adding in these little like cute um what they call like postcard stuff and like uh, calendars is the correct word um, to the wall to the wall to the fridge I cannot speak today guys um I like adding in the like little details on the fridge because I kind of feel like it just makes it feel more realistic um, and very family orientated so I do end up pulling the fridge away from the wall because I don't use mods so everything is a bit you know blocky I have to stick to the square which is kind of annoying but it's fine um, but as you can see right now we are working on the island section and i did have them connected so it was a bit glitchy and obviously we can't actually sit here but as you can see it looks a bit better with that everything is still functional you just can't sit in the middle but it's fine you can still put stuff on the counters and whatnot so it'll be fine i'm just trying to convince myself that it doesn't bother me but it really does um <laughs> so anyway moving on to the first bathroom this apartment is a two bedroom and two bathroom apartment um I think it just turned out really nicely to be honest i did use a lot of blue in case you couldn't tell um but i do think it looks really nice and um, i'm happy with how it looks i hope you guys like it as well um and yes yeah, so that's pretty much it for the bathroom the bathrooms all kind of look the same but i do like the vibe of this bathroom it feels very like generations vibe from um sims 3. i don't know whether you guys were playing sims 3 at the time but sims 3 was probably my favorite game ever um when sims 4 first came out 
I didn't like it. I didn't like Sims 4 when it first came out. The base game in 2014 was not the best um, and we had babies that turned straight into children and it was just very bizarre so I did not like it. And I think one of my favourite parts of Sims 3 was having toddlers. So the fact that we now have infants and toddlers in Sims 4 is just like mind blowing. I just, I love them. I think infants, my favourite life stage, as much as they are very, very hard to deal with sometimes. Um, and especially because I always have like a billion children. I currently have 21 grandchildren in my game, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, so I just love having infants basically. But Sims 3 was my like forever love. It was just... It was a time. My laptop at the time, it was my first ever laptop as a teenager. I thought it was really cool, it was purple. I actually still have it, I'm currently looking at it, um, because I bought it to my fiancés during lockdown so that we could call every day. Um, <laughs> save his phone battery, just like dying. So I, um, I used to have loads and loads of CC on my laptop and it would sound like a plane was taken off because it was just like the fan just couldn't handle all of it but it was just such a fun time. Um, I remember one Christmas just getting like loads of expansion packs and just living on it basically. Um, <laughs> so Sims 3 were good times and I don't know if you guys remember, I think I can't remember what the main world was called but the Wolf family were like one of the townies at the time but I used to play with them a lot. Um, let me know if you guys did as well and I remember they had a daughter which I didn't name called Yvonne and I did not know how to pronounce it at the time 14 year old me was like what it must have been before I was 14 because I would have known it then um when did I start playing Sims 3 probably in like 2011 12 so I was 11 or 12 ish um but yeah it's fun times um I did start off on Sims 2 when I was eight but I didn't own the game it was my friends um but I just I've been hooked for almost 16 years that's crazy it will be 16 years this summer it's insane I feel old now um <laughs> But yeah, so anyways, moving back to the build, we are currently working on at the bathroom at the moment for the father's room. Um, I just really like this apartment, to be honest. I just think it turned out really nice. Um, it's quite a small apartment, but I think managing to fit in like a living area, two bathrooms and two bathrooms. Did I just say two bathrooms and two bathrooms? Did I really just say that? Two bedrooms and two bathrooms um, is pretty good, to be honest. Um, so yeah. This is the final bedroom. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're all doing well in real life. I genuinely do. I really hope everything's going good for you. And if it's not, don't worry. It'll just be one of those times where it's just a part of your chapter and your story, but it won't last forever. And everything will be all right in the end. You just gotta get through the tough times. Coming from someone who's last year, like 23, um, was probably the worst year of my life ever. Now it's going pretty okay. So, you know, it just, it takes some time. Um, if you are going through a rough patch, we're all here for you, we're all supportive. We all want you to do well, so just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all wonderful. If you're not, I'm sending you so much love and positivity and feel free to comment below if you do want to chit chat at any point or message me on my Instagram at LauraAbbeyX, which is a private conversation, of course. Um, and yeah, so if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe and I shall see you guys tomorrow for another speed build. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. I wish you all the most wonderful day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks lovelies, bye. Cause I'm bulletproof